take a look at the hive. I have a concern that I that it's queenless and I actually think we may have a laying worker. I've looked a couple weeks ago, I saw mostly drone brood, which could be okay, but then when I looked a week ago, it was still the same way. The only brood I found in there was pretty much drone brood. So I'm concerned that the queen has failed or died and there is now a female in there who's started laying eggs, figuring she'll be queen. But the problem is they'll only produce drones, she can only produce males, and so the hive will eventually collapse. But it's, it's a little confusing because the hive will think it has a queen because there's brood and they'll take care of it like they're producing eggs. So we have to kind of go in and sort of confirm that hopefully not, you know, what I think is going on isn't, but we will check. And if it's only drone at this point, then there's no queen. And now I'm going to take this one off. I'm just going to start at the bottom and I'm going to go through every frame all the way up and look for eggs. Um, well, eggs are really hard to see. Look for larva or at this point it should be cap cells of, um, should be worker brood or drone brood. And I'm hoping to find workers. So the queens, because they're hard. they're big. If you see them, they're obvious. But in the the sea of bees, it's so hard to see her, and she likes to hide. So as soon as you open one, they'll go to the bottom. So it's, they're just hard to find. It's not obvious. No. And the laying worker looks just like all the other bees. You, you put some green grass in there, and you just. It's still a little warm, but I won't. I'll just put a little at the entrance. Put on my gloves. Uh, I don't know. I'm starting to think that these gloves, they they don't realize there's skin under there. So they actually bite. But yeah. All right. That is just honey. You can look for actual eggs. I find they're really hard to see, so I don't even. I don't even look for them. I look for the cat stuff. Getting loud now. They're getting loud and kind of grumpy. That's what I mean. They usually, but we'll see. So far, nothing in there. And see how it's all spotted? Like, it should be solid, full. It's just sporadic. And usually, laying workers will actually lay more than one egg in a lot of cells. And they're just, they're not built to do it. So that's honey. You can, you can feel it. It's just solid. I mean, it's just, like I said. This one's not quite the back size. Not, oh, they're pretty much done. They're just gonna evaporate all the moisture out and then put wax cappings on it. And these are worker cells. But there's, and these are too. But there's not enough of them and there's, there's larvae in there. It's still not, still not as full as it should be. And it also shouldn't be in this top box. I've never dealt with a laying worker, but that is what it, that's what it is. So that's what we got. Right. Pretty much at this point, positive that we not only don't have a queen, but we have a laying worker, which complicates the issue. If we just didn't have a queen, you could just insert a queen into the hive and over the course of four to seven days, they would release her and they would accept her. The problem is the hive thinks it has a queen because there's a, some, there's a worker laying and it'll, so since it thinks it has a queen, if you introduce a new queen, it will kill that queen. Um, so there's two main solutions. They, there's a ton of solutions, but the, the ones they recommend typically is if you have a bunch of hives, you would just take these bees and just dump them, spread them out between, say you had two or three hives, you would just shake them out in front of the hives, spread them out. They'll crawl into those hives and those hives will welcome them. They'll let them come in because they're not trying to rob. They're just sort of coming in. So bees will let any bee that's coming in to, to work or whatever, they'll let them come in and they would join those new hives. In this case, since we only have one hive here, what you would typically do is if you have other, again, helps if you have other colonies, you would grab a frame of eggs for this hive and as long as the egg's less than three days old, they can produce any, any fertilized egg, any female, they can turn her into a queen. For whatever reason, the hive thinks it has a queen, but not enough that when you put the eggs in there, they'll, they'll make a queen out of her. It takes about a month for them to do that. I have a swarm that I caught last week. If that queen starts laying in that new hive, so she accepts it, we can put that swarm here with the queen 
and if you put new, you could either then just dump those bees out in front of it and just let them all crawl in, or we can combine them. We can put newspaper between the two hives and with a weaker hive on top. And by the time it chews through the newspaper to get to the other bees, since that one has a queen and brood and everything, it'll sort of, they'll take the stronger hive they should, except the queen.